Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've been building this little one page scrolling site. We've done our first section up here with the slider, a little about section. We've done the services section. Well, moving forward we're going to do the team section. Then we've got a little animated project section. Testimonial with a testimonial slider. A little portfolio and a contact section with a live Google map. Today, we're gonna to be working on our team section. So let's go to the page we were building. So I'm gonna enable the visual builder. And let's roll on down to where we last left off, just below the services section here. I'm gonna add a new row by clicking on the section, hitting the little blue button to add a new section. And we use a regular section Inside this section, the first thing we want to do is put the title in. So again, I'm going to use a single column, single row. Now we saved our title to the library for, so we could reuse it. There it is right there. Anybody doesn't quite know what I'm doing here. We saved our title into our Divi library here. There it is. So we could reuse it without having to restyle or anything. Of course, we just need to go in there and change it now. Anybody doesn't know how to do that, have a look at the first video we did. And of course, I'm gonna change this to our team. Great, well that's the first bit done. <laughs> and for anybody that doesn't wanna save from library, we're using 50 point default font with a bit of text shadow and the default blue color there. So let's save that and we'll move on. Okay, well let's start adding our team members now. So I'm going to click on the row, the green little section there. I'm going to add a new row, the little green button for a row. And this time I'm going to put in four columns. Great. And inside our first column, I'm going to use a Divi person module. Divi comes with all these modules as standard. There's a little person module. Let's roll on down. And put the name in here, obviously. Let's say CEO for the position, perhaps. And you can see it doing it under here, perhaps if I move this over a little closer. So we've got Jane Smith, CEO. If you want to add their social links, their Facebook, Twitter, etc., just put a link in here for the ones that you want. I'm going to put a hashtag in as a placeholder. I'm not going to use Google Plus because it doesn't exist anymore, but I'll put those three in right there. And I'm going to take a bit of this text away. I don't want too much text in this little box. Of course, you're going to have something real to say about your team. I don't. Okay, great. Well, we've got our text and our social links in there. If we move on down, now we need to choose the image for this person. I'm going to use one of my existing. If you don't have one, just get whatever image it is that you want. And drag it and drop it up here. I've got square images. Square images work best for this because I'm going to make them round. And to make images round, you really want to start with a square image. So I'm going to call this lady Jane Smith. And let's upload the image. There it is right there. So we've got the basics of our first one there. What we're going to do now is we'll style this the way we actually want it. And then we'll clone it to add the next three. So let's move on to our design tab here. Okay, and if we start on with the icon just down below here, that's our little Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn icons down there. I'm gonna make mine blue. I'm gonna make them slightly bigger. To do that, we need to switch this little switch to on, or to yes. And then we can slide up and down till they're the size you want. You can also type in a value or use the little arrows to increment up and down if you want to, that's fine. Image-wise, I'm gonna go in there. I want mine round, like I said, so I'm gonna give it quite high borders keep the chain link so I can do all corners at once. And I'm gonna put it to 50%, which will make these round 50 and the percent sign. And there we've got a round image. I think I'm gonna offset it a little bit with a border. So I want all borders done at once. You can do top, right, bottom, and left separately if you want to. Let's make it say two pixels and I'll continue using that default blue that I've been using. Maybe one more pixel. There we go, that works for me. And as usual, you've got the various styles for borders. 
dotted, doubled, grooved, ridged, etc. There, I'm going to leave mine on plain solid. You can put a little box shadow there if you want to lift it off the page. That's quite a nice little feature. And you can change the box shadow positions and colors down below. I'm going to leave mine on the default right there. Let's move on down a bit to our text. Well, I want all of my text to be in the middle. So I'm going to go into the just general text, which is just the text box there. I'm going to hit the middle of line. That's more like it for me. Text color is dark, it's fine. I am going to color up the actual name and the position there. So if we go down a little bit more, here's the title text, the name. I'm going to make that blue. I'm going to make it uppercase. Let's make it semi bold, perhaps just to lift it off the page. We'll make it stand out a little bit more. That's fine. Perhaps a little bit bigger in size. We've got 18 there. Let's take it up to 25. That's great. With titles, you can use a bit of text shadow if you want to. But sometimes for me, unless it's a real big title, it kind of makes it look a little bit blurry. So I'm going to leave mine off. But do experiment and see what works for you. If we move on down, we've got the body text. That I'm going to leave just on the regular. And of course, you've got all these options for all your fonts. Divi, as I'm sure you know if you've seen any of my other videos, comes with a huge amount of fonts. To audition one, just roll over it. It'll give you an example. I'm just going to leave mine on the default today. That's going to work for me. Okay, let's roll down a little bit more. And we've got our position text there, CEO. I think I'll make that blue. Let's make it perhaps bold and a little bit bigger. Yeah, that works fine for me. Great, well that's shaping up. What I like to do is sort of give it a bit of border top and bottom and we'll need to change a bit of padding and perhaps give it a bit of box shadow to lift it off the page. Now if we go down to spacing, I'm going to put a bit of padding around just so it's slightly less cramped. So I'm going to say 20 picks. I'm going to give that top, bottom, left and right. Just put in the 20, it'll put in the picks. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. We'll do the left and right also. And you may notice that image shrinks up just a little bit when we do that because we're pushing it into the sides, from the sides, I should say. Just to make that a little more obvious, I'll put a bit of box shadow on there and that should become obvious. There we go. Now I put the box shadow on there. You can see we've given it 20 pixels, left, right, top and bottom. Okay, that's pretty much shaping up for me. The only other thing I'd like to do with this is perhaps give it a border top and bottom and maybe give it a fixed height because we may not have the same text for each and I'd like all of these to be a similar height. So if I close up our little box shadow just above it, you'll find border. I just want to put one on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to select top border. I'm going to select the amount that I want, probably about three pixels. I think we used that on our image border there. And I'm going to make mine blue again. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom border. So back up here to the bottom border. Similar three pixel and blue. And like I say, I'm going to have different amounts of text in each one here. So let's give it a fixed height. So. I actually need sizing for this, just two above the border there. And we'll go down, we'll use a minimum height for this. So I'm going to drag this down until it's about the height that I want it. I'm presuming this one will be my tallest one. So let's go for about four, say 475, something like that. And you can slide up and down, you can type in a value. And again, you can increment up with the little arrows right there. So that's going to work for me. When you're happy with yours, simply clone it and we can put four in there. Little two squares there to duplicate the module. Drag one of them over. And of course, you're going to want to go in. I'll do the first one and then I'll pause the video and do the other two quickly. So you're going to want to go in. Put people's profiles in, obviously. Let's change this amount of text slightly. Like I say, they should remain exactly the same height. If I just move this over so you can see there, you'll see they're the same height there, even though we've got different amounts of text. And let's find an image of Bob. That'll do for our Bob. 
And I'll pause the video and just duplicate this two more times so we've got four of them. Okay, there we are. We've got four of them now. I've just cloned and added different images and a bit of text for each of those. Obviously, you'd have to update your social medias if you wanted to there. Perhaps underneath, you'd like to say something about your team. So we'll simply add, we'll click on this green row and we'll add another single column row and put in a little paragraph perhaps about our team. And to do this, let's use a simple text module. Anybody wondering what the light blue ones there, they are from a free plugin called Divi Supreme Light, which is great. And the link's below the video if you want to check that out. I'm just going to use a text module for this today. I've got a bit of dummy text I'm going to put in there. And the only thing I really want to do here is perhaps align it in the middle. So I'm going to go over to my design, to the text, roll down, and align it in the middle there. Great. Let's just save this. For me, that's going to work for my section. If you want to decorate your section further, like we did with backgrounds and things, just click anywhere on the section. Go up to the top blue tab for a section. You can go in there and you've got all the regular background options. You've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern or background mask. And of course, don't forget, as we demonstrated in the last video, you can blend colors, gradients and images together. I'm going to leave mine just like that because I think it looks kind of nice and clean. So when you're happy, save the changes. We'll go down, we'll save the page changes. And let's exit the Visual Builder, make sure it's going to work on the front end. And let's roll on down. There's the about, there's the services we created last time. Here's our little team section. Great. So there we are guys, there's how to add a simple team section to your one page scrolling site. And don't forget, once we've got all these sections built, we'll add our menus and link them all together. And in our next video, we'll start building our project section. If we go down to the projects, just to below our team. And we've got this nice little animated project section. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And don't forget, if you've got any questions, put them down below and I'll do my best to answer them or make a video demo for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.